Hi, my name is Sylvie Patrick and welcome for this full body workout. I'm going to be working out on my power plate move, meaning one light 30 hertz low amplitude. And then I have attached the strap at the shortest length. I'm going to need them. I am going to be working out barefoot, but at home, you want to keep your shoes, you are welcome to do so. If you need additional support, make sure that you place your power plate close by a furniture. We're going to start on top of the power plate. I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to have my feet wide stance and then I'm going to bend the knee, shift my hips back and my body weight over the ball of my foot. Now you can hear at the sound of my voice that I have very minimal vibration traveling to the head. Everything is trapped under my muscle that are under tension. And I'm gonna hold here for a few seconds. Inhale, exhale. I'm grounding myself. And then I'm placing my hand onto my hip. And look, I am going to extend my one leg, toe flex towards my chest, my hip are driven back, I flat my back, and I'm going to alternate from the left leg to the right leg, this arm strength stretch. You can see here that I have placed my mat right underneath the power cord of my move because I am on hardwood floor and it tap against the hardwood floor, making a little sound. My power plate normally is very silent, right? So make sure that you put something underneath the power cord if you hear any noise, you shouldn't hear noise. Let's do two more on each side. And look, I'm gonna add my arm to that move bringing their chest level. I'm stepping down and now I turn my back to the power plate. And I reach with my left leg to make sure that I'm on the, the power plate. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna alternate a step back. Each time I place back my feet at the same distance. Then if you are feeling confident and well today, we're gonna bring those arm above the, the head as we are stepping back. Take the time to step back and then rise your arm above your head, challenging a little bit your balance here. Last one on the left, last one on the right. Perfect. I'm gonna use my strap now to open my chest and do a stretch for my upper body. So I'm adding a little bit of vibration here. I'm going to go to four light, which is 30 hertz high amplitude. So I feel really the vibration along my strap. And because I'm away from the power plate here, it's going to be nice because it's going to compensate for that loss. Inhale, exhale, roll the shoulder back and down. Bring those thumb on the outside and then look up. Inhale, exhale, stay in this position here. Feel the vibration traveling all the way to your shoulder as you are creating tension with your own body weight. Ten more seconds here. Last three, two, 
last one. Relax and then change the vibration back to my one light and I'm going to bring my strap on each side and I'm going to start my first activation. Back to my happy place. Bend the knee, shift your body weight over the ball of the foot. And then look, I'm going deeper squat, hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And come back into your happy place. Five, four, three, two, one. Deeper squat. Five, four, three, two, one, back to the happy place, five, four, three, two, one, deeper squat again, five, four, three, two, one, last one, five, four, three, two, one, deeper squat, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here and do a little pulse, little pulse. So your little pulse is like if you are bouncing slowly right here, like imagine that you are bouncing your hip right above the chair maybe. Come on, 10 more seconds. You should feel a tremendous activation in the quads. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew. Shake those legs, shake those legs. We're gonna come next to the power plate on the side, and I'm gonna place my left foot on the power plate my right foot stay to the ground. My body weight is equal on each side of my media line. And right here, we're gonna go into a deeper squat as well. Exactly like we did on the power plate. Give me four more. Last three. Last two on that last one. We're reaching over right here. So, like if I want to pick up something to the left, right by my left foot. And four, three, two, last one. Extend that legs. Feel the stretch on the inner thigh. And we turn to the other side. So we turn to the side, feet parallel, and I'm squatting, good. Body weight is equal on each leg. And then I'm going to reach, like if I'm picking up something over my right foot this time, with a rotation of the chest. Good, four more. Last three, last two. Last one, extend the legs, feel the stretch. Nice, you should be at the end of your nine minutes. Let's go for that second party of our workout. All right, time to challenge our balance, our core. We're gonna step back on the power plate for the next nine minutes. So I'm going to have both feet together here in the center of the plate. And look, that outside leg, is going to come tap to the front, tap to the side, and behind. Front, side, and behind. A little bit like if it's a clock, 12 o'clock, three, and six. 12, three, and six. Good. And now look, I'm going to bring my arm as well. So look, 12 o'clock, three, and six. Front, up, down, 
we're going to switch legs. So look, first, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock now, and 6. 12, 9, 6. 12, 9, 6. Good. We're going to add the arm on that next one. Here we go. 12 o'clock, 9, and back. 12 o'clock. You're doing great. Focus on your balance. Front, above, and back. Front, above. All right, shake those legs, shake those legs. Next exercise. So we're going to start with both feet in the center of the plate, and we're going to land with that right leg down. Soft landing. Then your right hand next to your left foot. So we're stepping, control that step up, step down. And then look, that right hand is going to reach next to the left foot. So you're adding a slight bend. Now look at my knee. It's nicely lined up with my ankle. Good. Option one, you're staying again here. Option two, I'm reaching down here. Option three, we adding a reach here. So you choose the level of intensity of your workout. Two more, last one, good. Shake your legs, again, both feet in the center together, and we're stepping with the other legs. So you can have your hand on your hip. I want you to land softly, right? You're controlling that descent from the power plate. Stay there, that is your option one, right? Now if you're feeling good today, let's add a reach with your left hand. Reaching for something on the ground, very functional. You got it. Now remember, you can stay on option one, or on option two, or you're going to join me on that option three, which is I'm reaching above, rising my left knee and right arm. Again, I'm showing you option one. I am just here. Option two, my left hand is going on the inside of my right foot. Option three, I'm comboing a knee chest with the opposite arm going above your head. Give me four more, last three, last two. Last one, great, shake those legs, good job. Check also your heart rate here, because we did quite a bit of step up, step down. 
we're going to grab our strap and I, I set them up so my arm is about 90 degree angle right, right here. Palm of my hand are up towards the sky and I'm increasing my vibration here to four lights. I'm going to pull on the strap, shoulder down, elbow close to the body, and then I have a 90 degree angle into my elbow. Again, if you are on a personal, just place one foot onto the power plate to ground it. So you're keeping nice tension here onto the strap. Good, hold it here. 10 more seconds, don't hold your breath. Inhale, exhale. Look up. Four, three, two, and I switch. Bringing the palm of my hand behind, opening the chest, bending the knee a little bit, and I pull the strap behind me. Pull, pull. Inhale, exhale. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm tucking those handle on each side and look, large circle to the right. I'm changing my vibration to one light. You should have about Eight minutes 40 on your timer and large circle to the outside. Great. We just completed our next nine minutes. Join me for some core activation in the following section. For this core section, I just added a mat here in front of my power plate because I'm on my hardwood floor and I'm going to be kneeling in front of my power plate. Now, we're going to have one light, and I turn on my power plate, and I have my knee directly below my hip, my chest is over my hands, slight bent into the elbow, and I want you to imagine that you're creating tension by bringing those hands together, but you're not. You're just opening your palm wide, and then we're creating the tension by imagining it pressing those hands together, holding here, create that body tension, vibration, love tension, and it's following that tension like the chord of a guitar, when you have the right tension, you're going to have the maximum result here, so we have 10 more seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake those hands, relax the wrist. Next exercise, again, I'm going to be in the same position. So I have my hip lined up over my knee, but my chest is over the power plate. And I want you from here to rise one arm and switch. Okay, this is your option one. We are staying here in this position, just rising one arm and alternating. Now, what is your option two? If you're feeling good today, we're going to extend one leg and alternate here. Your chest is over the power plate. Remember, chest over the power plate. This is your option two, right? Option three, follow me. We're going to be onto a plank here, holding here. Bend the elbow and hold it here. Ten more seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and relax. Shake those hands. We're gonna be to the side, so I'm sitting on the side of my power plate, and I have extended the opposite legs. Now my shoulder and my elbow is on the power plate, and then look, I'm just gonna lift that hip and bring it down. That's it. If you need an additional other hand to do that motion, lift the hip off the floor and come back down. That's your option one. Option two, if you're feeling good today and you have a strong shoulder and you're feeling secure here, we are lifting that arm and bring it down. So that's your option two. You can stay on option one or going for option two. Give me four more. Last three. Last two. And last one. All right. Shake your arms, shake your legs. Right here, we're gonna go to the other side. So I'm going to turn my back to you, but you're gonna see the position on the other side. So I have lined up my shoulder here with my elbow, extend the other legs. Option one, I have my opposite hand right by my arm and I'm just lifting my hip off the floor. Remember, we have another option. Option two coming up, which I'm rising my arm above my head. Give me four more. Last three, last two, last one. Good. I'm going to be sitting in front of my power plate with my feet flat, feet flat against the plate, and my heel I lined up with my sit bone. So I'm right in this position, and we're gonna do a bridge, rising the glutes off the floor. I'm lining up my hip, shoulder, and knee. We've done bridge together before. And we're going to lift the arm right there off the floor and pulse for five, four, three, two, and relax all to the floor. Five rep, four, three, two, and on that last one, I stay up, bring my arm in front of me, and five, four, three, two, last one, everything go down. Reposition your feet if you need to. Rise for five, four, three, two, last one, rise, Staying here, five, four, three, two, last one. And everything go down. Good. We have one more exercise right here, and it's going to be for the triceps. Only if you have no issue in the shoulder and wrist. So we're going to be sitting on the edge of the plate. My hand are right up right here 
and I'm holding here. Open the chest, slide bent into the elbow, hold here. Get your, your head off the shoulder, counting down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and shake your hand, shake your wrist. We're going back for the activation here. Bring your strap, rise your vibration all the way to four lights and round your back. Good. And stretch your shoulder here. One more time. Massage of the shoulder here. Passing through. My arm is going underneath my opposite arm that is on the plate. Alternate that motion. Needle through all the way to the end of the vibration. For this last part of the workout, I am going to use my mat to place it between my lower back and the edge of the power plate. And then I am still on one light because I'm gonna have my spine against the plate and I really don't want to have too much vibration traveling to my, to my head but I'm also going to be using my mini pulse um, for my legs. So I'm kind of saving myself some time. So I'm stimulating the lower part of my back and then right here, massaging along my legs. At home, if you do not have a mini pulse or any pulse, you can just relax and massage your lower back. So I'm going along the outside of my legs, just above the knee then the medial part, and then the inside. Think about this a little bit like a facial for the legs, right? When you are putting moisturizer on your face, that motion that you're doing when you put the, 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 the cream on your face, that's what's making you glow, right? So that's what I'm doing right now, but for my legs. And then I change and go to my right leg. And then right here, I'm going to lean a little bit further and bring my upper back in contact with the edge of the plate. And then massage between the scapula. So those big flat bones that you have in the back of your shoulder, I'm massaging the little muscle between. And so you see, that's why I'm staying on level one, 30 hertz, low amplitude. And then I'm going to turn to my side, keeping the mat to go on the edge of the power plate. And I'm going to massage the underarm pit and then my triceps here stimulating one of the important lymphatic nodes that we have into the armpit, which is the auxiliary nod. We also have a trigger point right in the back. So when I lean back, chest up, I am right here on that trigger point. A trigger point is just like a little knot 
in the tissue and inhale exhale relaxing here and then I'm gonna switch side so I'm going to the other armpit moving to my other side And then my last favorite massage is of course my calf. So I'm placing my mat behind on the floor and then I'm gonna increase the vibration all the way to the max. I have six slides, I am on 40 hertz, high amplitude. If you have a personal plate, uh, just get onto your high amplitude. And then I'm placing the back of my knee in contact with the plate and just relax. Right here, I want you to place your hand onto your diaphragm, which is right by your rib cage, below your sternum, which is that bone that we have in the center of your chest. And try with a deep breath to rise your hand and to lower it. And focus again on your breathing. Close your eyes. Your muscles should be disengaged. Try to relax. Let those legs fall on the side. Completely relax. Right here. Let your legs fall. I want you to really empty your mind. Relax the shoulder and any tension along your body. And when the vibration is gonna stop, you're gonna stay here and try to feel the rush of blood flow going through your entire body all the way to your fingertip. And inhale, exhale. The vibration has stopped, but I don't want you to move right away. You're gonna relax and let the tingling disappear from your legs. You still feel the vibration even that it stopped. So we're gonna open our eyes and move the finger first and the toe. Nothing else is moving. One more inhale and exhale. And only when you feel that all the blood flow and the tingling has resorbed into your legs, then you're going to stand and come out of your relaxation. So important to use that vibration time at the end to just relax, focus on breathing, and then focusing on relaxing the legs in contact with the plate. And at the end of the vibration, to not move to just feel the rush of that blood flow that went through your body. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I see you for more routine on our free app and social media.